Well, 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 the Atlanta Falcons just six weeks after signing Kirk Cousins in free agency have acquired their successor eventually to Cousins. Michael Penix Jr., the eighth overall pick in the draft. Remember, they did their homework on Penix. And I've mentioned the possibility of the Falcons taking Penix because why would you waste your time doing work on a guy that you're not going to take? They don't screw around. They're not wasting their time. They're going to have a transition from Cousins to Penix. Cousins has a deal that pays out $45 million per year, $100 million guaranteed over the first three years, but the first two years are 90. Maybe they could trade him after two years. I know he's got a no trade clause, but but who knows how the world is going to unfold over the next couple of years. The bottom line is they have cousins and they have a hell of an insurance policy in Penix. They go from having nothing at quarterback, really, frankly, all due respect to Taylor Heineke and Desmond Ritter, to being stacked with cousins coming off of that torn Achilles and Penix, a guy who is regarded as one of the top quarterbacks in the class and who actually ended up going ahead of J.J. McCarthy. What a surprise. The first surprise of the night. McCarthy's still on the board. Just a couple of picks until the Vikings end up potentially getting him. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.